previously on The Amazing Race Canada. Five teams raced in the rain in Montreal. At the detour, Muskoka boys Mickey and Pete faced off against hockey heroes Natalie and Megan. You guys want to help each other? Oh, not really. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> they got it. Not fair to beat them at something. But siblings Suki and Jinder exposed themselves as a serious contender. Not gonna lie, probably the most awkward thing I've ever done in my life. And fast forwarded themselves to their very first win of the race. You guys are team number one! <laughs> but bartending buddies Ryan and Rob were detoured by flame beads and grilled cheese. Incorrect, boys. Incorrect. Incorrect again, yes. I can't do it anymore. Finishing the leg in last place, where they were served with their second non-elimination of the race. You guys are still in this race. Are you kidding me? How is that even possible? We almost feel like we don't deserve another chance, but we're going to take it. <laughs> now, five teams remain as they race to win a year of worldwide travel for two in business class from Air Canada. The North American Truck of the Year, the Chevrolet Silverado High Country Edition. Gas for life from Canada's gas station, Petro-Canada. A quarter of a million dollars and the Amazing Race Canada. Nestled between the shores of the St. Lawrence River and Mount Royal is the city of Montreal. Home to the world-famous Cirque du Soleil, Montreal is known as one of Canada's most eclectic and artistic cities. And today is the starting point for the 10th leg of the Amazing Race Canada. Suki and Jinder won the last leg of the race and will depart first at 2.56 a.m. Fly to Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island! <laughs> All teams must now travel to Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Located on Canada's east coast, this island province is famous for its blue seas, emerald hills, and red sandy beaches. And is also the birthplace of the greatest country on earth, Canada. We think we can win two legs in a row. This is not a fluke. This is a streak. We will do anything to win this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Perfect. Uh, thanks. Thank what what a Charlotte 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 Charlotte. Give it to me on your Scotiabank Gold American Express card for this leg of the race. Hey man, can you drive us to the airport? We're in second today. It's our highest place yet. And we're going to PEI. Dude, right? Man, I've never been. Dude, we gotta win this leg of the race. Everybody's one but us. Me and Peter are both like from super humble beginnings and we kind of live uh, paycheck to paycheck. Winning the Amazing Race Canada would 100% change our lives. This is our leg. Oh God, fly to Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. There's a taxi right there. We are starting today in third place. P.E.I. Prince Edward Island. This close to the end, this is where, you know, our experience in performing under pressure could come in handy. Let's do this. Flight to Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Go! We had such a hard time the last leg. But we beat all these teams at some point in the race. Next goal is to be in the top three, and then after that, it's to win the Amazing Race Canada. Give us the most in the front, and we feel like we can do it. Charlottetown. So we're starting this leg in last place again, and we have another speed bump. But surviving cancer is just show me that I can get through anything. So any challenge that the race brings, I have a good feeling that I you know, know I can get through it. Today is our day of redemption. Oh my god, Rob and Ryan. Oh, oh my god. god! Dude, go oh home! Oh my god! Ryan and Rob, they're back again. There's got to be a little part of them that's annoyed. I would be. Lucky for them. Got a horseshoe somewhere. Horseshoe somewhere, yeah. So you can't kill us yet. <laughs> yeah. All teams are now flying over 1,000 kilometers on Air Canada from Montreal to Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. 
Once teams touch down, they'll find a brand new Chevrolet Impala and search for their clue in this hidden compartment. Get the clue. Take this one. Oh, hey, what did you say? Drive yourselves to Red Shores Racetrack. Search the paddock for your next clue. Where are we going? Red Shores Racetrack. Okay. The girls are in the red. Red Shores Racetrack in Charlottetown. Mickey and Peter behind us? Yeah. I'm not losing these guys. It's going to be on your right hand side. Yep, that's it. Cool. Horses. Search the paddock area. Go back. I think it's over there. Do you see it? Oh, I see it. Oh, come on. There it is. Right, right. Jump. Man. Jump, 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 jump. Where is it? Jump. Mick. Follow me. Kick it, Mick. Kick it. Oh, yeah. Keep running. Keep running. Right info. Become a horse and driver. <laughs> Erase your sulky. Only did you complete laps around the track. Harness racing dates back almost 200 years when local farmers would race their steeds along the red clay roads of PEI. In this challenge, teams will put a twist on this centuries-old sport by assuming the roles of both driver and horse. Giddy up, baby. <laughs> teams will strap on a pair of blinders and pull their partner around a course on a racing cart known as a sulky. Once they've completed two laps and crossed the finish line, they'll receive their next clue. <laughs> Can be the driver? Yeah. Where do I go? One of us needs to put on blinders. The driver sits in the back with a whip. Hold this one. And you carry each other around the track for two laps. I thought there was a horse. You're the horse. I'm the horse? Yeah, dude. Oh, I gotta be the horse? You're gonna be the best horse ever. It's a two lap race today, and a beautiful day it is at Charlottetown. Sorry. Here you go, they're off and pacing the Golden Girls, Nat and Megan. Wow, they're sailing on the front end here. Looking good. How many? Just twice. Holy crap. Woo! Yay, the best! That's my man! Mickey's a beast, man! He was the best track star in our high school. Mickey was a track star in high school. I remember watching him, like, lap kids. Go, baby, go, baby, go! Got fast legs! <laughs> Mickey and Pete moving up into second. This guy's a track star, man. I don't know what to say. Sorry, sir. Are you sure it's two laps? Yep. The Golden Girls now. They sail round the turn. Mickey's coming. Oh, yeah. We're getting it on you. Mickey and Pete looking to land on the lead. He's a beautiful blonde stallion. Yeah! <laughs> Dropping back to second. That's Nat and Megan. Maybe we should switch. Okay. Ready? Yeah. We've got dismounts going on, Nat and Megan. Okay, on. And we've got a fresh horse, but he's got a lot of work to do. Thoroughbred right here. Good job, guys. And amazingly enough, Ryan and Rob, they have closed up the gap. All right, you got this. But still a lot of leg work to do, and the legs look to be crumbling early. Keep going, try. I'm coming off. Ryan and Rob now moving off for third. Here, here, here. I'm so sorry. Here comes Nat and Megan, and they're coming to the outside, and they're bridle to bridle and stride for stride now as they move on to that turn for the final time. They're so close. Mickey and Pete have faded to second. And they'll speed them up. <laughs> Struggling in the backfield is Elaine and Audrey. Just go faster a little bit. Okay, yes. Give me a little bit faster. This is hard, this is long. Can you give me a little faster? No. I'm dying. Okay, put it down when you need yeah. to. The girls are going to have to change up again. It's going to catch them. Do a half a lap to go. Catch them. The golden girls now. And they've got a good stride built up here. He's dying. Down the stretch they come, round the turn, second and final time, less than an eighth left to go, on the line, wow! Mickey and Pete have won it! Matt and Megan, they're going to be a solid second in here today. Dude, good job. Let's hear as bad as you are now, huh? Root marker.
Teens must now find Charlottetown's most significant landmark, Province House. 150 years ago, the 36 Fathers of Confederation gathered here to discuss the formation of our great country. This is the birthplace of Canada. And it's here that teens will find their next clue. Yeah, bud. Thank you. Let's go. Here we go. I need water like now. All right. Ryan and Rob, they're going to hang hey. on for third. Thank you. So proud of you, buddy. We're catching up. Oh, we've got trouble with the Royal Blue Squad, Suki and Ginger. It's so thirsty. Almost there, buddy. My mouth is so dry at this point. I can barely breathe. So thirsty. We'll get you water soon. We started this day in first place, and now we are in fourth. If we lose this lick of the race, I'm going to freaking lose it. Lick your lips. Oh, we've got trouble. So thirsty. Almost there, buddy. Lick your lips. I just can't believe how slow I am. Faster! One, two, one, come two. Come on, come on. Are you coming? Yeah, come, come on. on baby, go! Come on, come on. Almost there. Suki and Ginger. Fourth place this afternoon. Oh, my gosh. Good job, Ginger. <laughs> Thanks. Drive yourselves to the province house. Okay. Come on, let's make up time now. Okay. Go, baby, go! Way back and struggling in fifth is Elaine and I breathe. Oh, there it is, right there. There's the thing. Where the boys are, right there. So. Go by. Who's your dad, daddy? Why Why A roadblock is a task that only one person can perform. In this roadblock, one team member's knowledge of Canadian history and powers of observation will be put to the test by identifying specific fathers of confederation. Racers must walk the grounds of Province House and meet the friends and family of delegates who attended the Charlottetown Conference in 1864. These folks will then provide teams with the names and descriptions of 10 of our country's founding fathers. I know Robert B. Dick. He always wears a monocle. Thomas Darcy McGee. You'll know him by a cigar. When racers have all 10 delegates memorized, they will enter the very same chamber where the conference was held and identify each founding father by name. Once they correctly identify all 10 delegates, Canada's first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald, will give them their next clue. Who do you think? Do you okay. Hey, I'll do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Hello, sirs. Can I ask your name? My name? Yeah. John Hutch. John Hutch. Yeah. There's people walking around, and I'm like, I just got to memorize their names. This is easy. John Hutch. Okay. Hello, sir. I'm Peter Schmaltz. My name is Jay Byrne. Flora Buchanan, nice to meet you. Flora Buchanan, nice to meet you. Is there anybody we can help you find? Uh, no, I'm kind of just wandering, making my own friends. Excuse me. For this challenge, I need to ask people who their delegates are that are inside the building. Would you be able to tell me one of the ten delegates? One, Dr. Charles Tupper. He's always carrying his black medicine bag, a pocket watch, and has a black bow tie. Charles Tupper and Dr. Charles Tupper. There are multiple names. Samuel Tilly is a family friend. Oh yeah, I know George Cole's up there. And I know Hector Louis Langevin. Would you each be able to tell me one of the ten delegates? And they all have specific details about what they're wearing that make them different from one to the next. He always wears an ascot and a boutonniere. He's always got his pipe in his hand or in his mouth. He has sideburns and I believe a pocket watch today. I want to be out of there first, so I need to get in there and try it. Samuel Tilly. William Henry Pope. Dr. William Tapper. You're incorrect. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Who's your daddy? You got this, Ryan. Thank you. Hello, ladies. Do you have any delegates that write the Confederation? Watch out. Come on. Roadblock. Yeah. You got this. That's delegates. Right. I'll do it. Okay. Hi, I'm looking for the ten fathers of the Confederation. William Henry Pope is a friend of my father's. He always has papers in his hand. Thank you so much. Hi, hi. And do you know some fathers of Confederation? Oh, yeah, sure. I know one of them. Thomas Darcy McGee. You'll know him by his cigar. Darcy McGee. This is Dundas and Susan Gray. Yeah. Ooh, I'm good, right? Georgina Coles. Yeah. Minnie Palmer. 
Jay Bird? Yes. Freaking nailed it, man. <laughs> We're gonna try it. So I go in there. Oh God. Half the names I have memorized are girls. And then there's all these dudes, and I'm like, this isn't right. Okay, I'll be back. So I didn't read the clue properly, and I was memorizing the people's names out here, but it's the delegates inside that we have to know. So I'm looking for your friend or family member. Ah, one of the delegates. That's right. I see. <laughs> the last Such evening. an idiot. George Coles. Robert B. Dickey. You're incorrect. Frig. I'll come back. Let me tell you, it is hard. Hector Louis A. Van Tan. So, Robert B. Dickey. Charles Louis Langevin. George Cole's right there. George Louis Langevin. Charles Tuppy? With oh, a pipe. There he is. Kern R. Thomas McGee. Oh my gosh. You're incorrect. Oh my gosh. What the heck is this? Or six, seven. When Sue needs to get something done, she just channels everything in and completely focuses. She just cuts out everything around her. She has all these weird ways to memorize things. What is your guy? Georges Etienne Cartier. George and ten. Ten times. He comes home at ten. I'm just making up stories in my head. Who do you know, delegate? I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. George Brown. Okay. I have a cousin named George. I'm brown. He's brown. We're brown. <laughs> George Brown. Well, I know my husband, Colonel John Hamilton Gray. He walks with a cane. Colonel John Hamilton Gray he has a cane because he's old and gray. Boom. Dickey, Robert B. Dickey, I meant. Robert B. Dickey. I imagined he had a big. <laughs> I'm gonna go try. I'm getting this clue on this attempt, and that's it. Okay. Who is a cane? Cane. You are Colonel John Hamilton Gray. That's who you are. You have sideburns. You're Samuel Tilly, right there. You have a cigar, Thomas Darcy McGee, okay? Oh, yeah, the black bow tie and clean shaven. Georges Tan Keltier. Hector Louis Lodge Van, right there. Oh, yeah, you are. William Henry Pope, okay? George Brown, right there, okay? Dr. Charles Tupper, right here. The pipe guy is George Cole, right there. One more. Oh, yeah, Robert B. Dickey. Here he is. You are correct. Let's go! Oh, no! Woo! Oh, God. Right. Right. Drive yourself to the North River Petro Canada Station and fill up your tank for the trip to the North Shore. Good. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. We are back in first place. Thank you, Johnny McDonald. I knew you could do it. Hi again, remember me. I asked some people probably at least 10 to 15 times. George Etienne Tien Keltier has a boutonniere. You know, Jean J. Keltier. George Etienne 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 Keltier. Yes. Merci. The second time I go up and I list the first like four or five off, no problem. George Etienne Keltier. Dr. Charles Tupper. Uh, Robert B. Dickey. Uh, I'm always there. He's always writing something. He's always writing something. Uh, oh, oh uh, George Brown and William Henry Pope. Congratulations. You are yeah, correct. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Rob. I can't believe it. It was so last minute. Fill up your tank for a trip to the North Shore. I had three teams, yeah. which is awesome. George Coles. Dr. Charles Tapper. I am sorry, madam, that is incorrect. <sighs> uh, clean shaven, black bow tie, Georges Etienne Cartier. Hector Louis Langevin with the ascot. Dr. Charles Tupper. You're incorrect. Oh, I swear I had it. Do it, baby. It's okay. So, Dr. Charles Tupper. With the pipe is George Coles. 
with the cigar, Thomas Darcy McGee. Congratulations. Yeah. You're correct. I memorized all the people's names outside yeah. and everyone's names inside by an accident. Oh. Let's go, Petro Canada, baby. Good. Keep going. Come on, Petro Canada. Run, 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 run. It's intensity. Hi. Can we I'd please like stay with us? American Express. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. We love you. Route info. Drive yourself to Lucy Mode, Montgomery's birthplace. Teams must now drive themselves to the village of New London on PEI's North Shore. Once here, they'll find the childhood home of celebrated Canadian author Lucy Maud Montgomery. Raised by her grandparents, Lucy Maud Montgomery grew up in this quaint countryside home. It was these humble surroundings that inspired her to create her most famous character, known around the world as Anna Green Gables. When teams locate this historic landmark, they'll find their next clue. Lucy, baby! We got this. I see the Petro. Right on. Shuki. You see them? Yep. <laughs> Rest of the day, keep working out. They're right behind us, Robin Ryan. Thomas Darcy McGee. Colonel John Hamilton Gray. Dr. Charles Tapper. You're incorrect. Could you tell me your delegates once more, please? Megan and Natalie are still here. So I'm like, I got this. Robert B. Ditchy, Dr. Charles Tapper, Tupper, Tupper, George Etienne Cartier. Congratulations, sir. Yes! Yes! Thanks so much. Thank you. Come on. Baby, we're not the last. This is the first time that we've been in last place. I have no idea what I'm getting wrong. This is my worst nightmare coming true. This could be it for us. Everyone is gone, so hopefully Mick can get and we can go catch up. This is my worst nightmare coming true. This could be it for us. Thomas Darcy McGee, William Henry Pope, Dr. Charles Tapper. You're incorrect. I'm getting frustrated. So I go outside, I ask them all once more. Thomas Darcy McGee has a cigar. That's right. William Henry Pope always has papers. Dr. Charles Tapper. I got that one. Tupper with a T. Tupper with a Charles Tupper. 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 T U. Tupper. Charles Tupper. Tupper, not Tapper. Thomas Darcy McGee. Dr. Charles Tupper. Congratulations, oh. madam. Thank you. Something so small. Don't stress. Well, I kind of am stressed because I just did a roadblock that put us in fifth place. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Right. There's a bunch of stuff up there. That's it. Lucy Maud Montgomery. There's a clue box. Wait, do you see it? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Lucy Maud! Detour. Detour! Muscles or math? A detour is a choice between two tasks, each with its own pros and cons. Blessed with rich red soil and fertile waters, Prince Edward Island has a proud tradition of both farming and fishing. In this detour, Teams will get a chance to experience one of PEI's most important professions. It's their call, muscle or mass. In mass, teams must accurately calculate the total weight of over 10 million russet potatoes stored inside this enormous warehouse. Armed with a tape measure, teams must wade through a pile of potatoes and calculate their total mass. Once teams have calculated the correct weight, Vernon the potato farmer will give them their next clue. In Muscle, teams will have to first locate Prince Edward Aqua Farms, where they'll have to process 1,800 pounds of slimy mussels. First, teams will suit up and enter the processing plant, where they will strip thousands of mussels from the socks they've been growing on for over two years. 
Once every last muscle has been removed from its sock and placed in a new bin, this plant manager will give them their next clue. Okay, yeah. we'll do muscles. Muscles. Let's go. Yeah. No, I think we have a massive lead on everyone. We are on and we're taking number one. And that's going to be left. Yeah, just go that way. You sure? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, the water was further. Sorry, yeah, go back. Hey, whoa. Okay, what well, let, let time to... Sometimes we fight, sometimes we bicker. I'm, I'm, I made a little mistake. It's not the end it's of the world. It's all good. That's no, it. no problem. We're very passionate. A chaque fois que c'est moi qui fais une petite erreur, c'est super important. I don't, no, I don't mind. Who's mad now? But I definitely met my soulmate. <laughs> I hate you. I love you. I love you. We're a crazy person, you know that? Not a half that. Hey, 5 2 one, it was down that road. We're looking for Lucy Maud Montgomery in first place. Oh, we're here, right? Oh, here. Oh, it's us. It's a fever. After arriving last in the previous leg, Ryan and Rob must now complete a speed bump. This speed bump harkens back to the era of prohibition, when locals produced a powerful spirit called moonshine. It was highly illegal, but also in high demand, and local distillers resorted to some unusual practices to hide their hooch from the long arm of the law. In this speed bump, Ryan and Rob must get knee-deep in a giant pile of horse manure and search for three bottles of traditional moonshine. Hey! Once they get their hands on the hooch, they'll be rewarded with their next clue. Ah! Right there. I see it. This is an impressive number two. Three bottles. That's it. Hot poop! Don't throw it on me! Oh my god. Oh, that's really hot. Oh, it's steaming. Oh, it's so warm! All the steam comes up and hits your face. The smell is revolting. Oh. <coughs> it's like digging for gold! Do you guys want to help? No. We're in some super deep doo doo right now. <laughs> Good? Let's go pay. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, that's the other team. No, yeah. that's the girl, babe. Holy, oh, we, we're last. Are you kidding me? This How the heck right. did they get so No fast? time for this. So now at this point, we know we're last. We must have passed Elaine and Audrey to find the gas station. We're making up time. How the heck did you get know. here? Focus on you. Prince Edward Aqua Farm. We're here. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Hurry fast. Okay. You can do this faster than anybody. We are the first team here, so we're feeling good. We got this, yo. We're freaking gonna do this. Okay, we're ready. We strip the muscles off the socks and into the bins. Okay, we got this, we got this, calm and collected. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So we just have to get all these muscles off the socks into this other bin. <sighs> Uh, this is really hard. Uh, come on. Not as easy as I thought it would be. Uh, 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 uh. These muscles are clung onto the sock. You gotta wham it hard. Uh, keep going. Lucy Maud Montgomery's birthplace. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Teacher. Muscles or mass? Let's do muscles because we're muscles. Yeah, yeah. Add weights to a butt. Higher <laughs> than my mouth. It's hot. The poop's burning my hand. Ugh. It's smelly. Woo! Stinks. 50 minutes in, and we haven't found a single bottle of moonshine. Just keep digging. Ugh. How hard can it be? to find three large balls and a pile of crap. How hard can it be to find three large balls and a pile of crap? Uh, Come on, Rob. We got it. We're coming back. Put your back into it, boys. Uh, Come on. Yeah. Two more. Just keep digging. Uh, got one. Yeah. All right, one more. In ho! Oh, that's the clue box. Detour muscles or mass? What do you think we should do? Like mass or? I, my brain is like fried right now. Muscles. 
Prince Edward Aqua Farms in New London. Want to ask? Do you know where uh, Prince Edward Aqua Farm is? Go down around the corner. Up straight down the highway? Yeah, in the little blue building. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Have fun with us. You rock, dude. This one's impossible. Don't even say that. Ah, ah, ah. Wow, beauty. Hello, sir. Mickey and Pete just arrived. Strip of socks. Ah. We think we're going to be able to crush this faster than any other jeans. Oh, man, muscle juice all over my face. Ah. Yeah, yeah. This is our leg. Just going to muscle through this challenge. <laughs> that was good. Lucy Maud Montgomery's birthplace. It's right there, right there. We found it. Muscle or math, but we're gonna do muscle. Go, 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 go. Muscles. Oh boy. Oh gross, this is actually what we're doing. When we get there, Mickey and Pete, Suki and Ginger are there. So we have a lot of time to make up. We got this, Mick. Yuck. This is the worst smell I've ever smelled. In my leg. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Uh. One more. One more bottle. Uh. Uh. I am not going home uh. because of poop. Uh. 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 It's got to be in this side. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, guys. Detour. Muscles or mass? 50 muscles. Good job, kid. Oh, God, my eyes are on fire right now. Go, go, go! Woo -hoo. <laughs> Looks like fun. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Rock, rock, rock. Woo! What's up, boys? Oh, God. Quick poop. No muscles. It's one of those days. I got a lot of work to do. Oh, my God. I'm looking over at Suki and Jinder quite a bit and noticing that we are catching up to them. I think we're making up time right now. Like seriously, these women are machines. They tap into some kind of inner animal. Strip them! Strip them! They're doing this faster than anyone. It's incredible. <sighs> I am not letting these girls win. Number one, baby. Number one. I'm not freaking losing to those guys. A chance. Are we good? Yeah. We might have to get all these off the ground. We think we're done, but there's muscles everywhere. Now we have to clean up all the muscles on the ground, get the rest of the muscles back in the bin before we ask for inspection. There's still some in here. Go fast, man. We gotta get all the ones off the floor, too. Very fast. Okay, hey, this side's done. I'm gonna get this one. Pick up these ones. Inspection. Inspection. You're good. Good job. Let's go. You said we did a great job. Thank you. Oh, they got it. Make, Make your way, way to the, the Farmer's Bank of Rusty 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 Teams must now make their way to the stunning seaside village of Rustico, one of the oldest communities on the island. Here they will locate the Farmer's Bank National Historic Site. The Farmer's Bank once helped build the agricultural backbone of this province. Today, along the stunning red sand shores of Rustico Bay, teams will find the tenth pit stop on the most amazing race this country has ever seen. The last team to check in here may be eliminated. Team number one. Suki and Ginger just left. Inspection, Inspection. please. You're good. Yes, we got it. We Thank you. Good job. And the last team to check in may be eliminated. You gotta go fast. No. We get there before Nat Meg, and somehow they leave before us. Man, I don't know how the girls beat us. Definitely did not see that one coming. Let's keep going, eh? I think Bank of Bristico? I think it's in Bristico. They are. Shoot. We got really competitive in there. up some time. That's them. They are literally on our tail. This is the beginning of a comeback. This is goal number one we've scored. We still need one more to make it to overtime. Oh, the floor has to be clean, but this is good enough. Do we get an inspection? You're good. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, get out of here. I'm pretty rattled. The girls got out of there before us. Definitely thought we were going to be out of there first. Just keep on going. I'm pissed that everybody's leaving. 
We are desperate to get to this pit stop first. Boy, this is stressful. Put your agent there. And ask a gas station quickly. Yeah. Ask this guy. Excuse me. Please tell me this is them in front of us. Excuse me. Farmers Bank of Rustico, we need to go to. Rustico? Yeah. Farmers, Farmers Bank of Bank. Rustico. If you go to left. Yeah. Oh, man. We see Meg and Natalie at the corner. What do you think? We're like, yeah, it's right. It's right. This guy. Okay, okay, we're pretending. No, point point, point this way. way. Point this way. They're doing that on purpose, no? Yeah, because we want to go left. Continue on the six. Spooner has the map. Yes. And we are heading in the right direction. Oh, shoot. They're going left. Frank! Ugh. We ain't stupid. We got a map. Mama didn't raise no fool. No. We just lost this leg by pulling over and asking for directions. So mad. Oh, why did we freaking stop? Oh, my gosh. This sucks. Ah. Uh, we just lost this leg by pulling over and asking for directions. So mad. Oh, why did we freaking stop? Oh my gosh, this sucks. I cannot believe Suki and Ginger just tried to point us in the wrong direction. Oh yeah, it's that way, it's that way, it's that way. I just way. think that's like really cheap. Is that them? Shoot, that's them. They have your bag on my shoulder and my bag. Look, Ginger, get your bags on. They're getting their bags oh, on. I see John. Let's go, John. let's go, let's go, let's go. I see him. Go. No, run. Come on, Nick. Booner, go, let's go. Drop your bag. No, run it, run it. Come on, come on, come on. No, run, run. Oh. Suki and Jinder, your team number one. <laughs> It just shows that we're the best. Natalie and Megan, your team number two. Suki and Ginger, you guys are awfully dirty, but to make up for that, our friends at Air Canada are giving you two tickets to any of their Canadian destinations. <laughs> you will also have $5,000 loaded onto your Scotiabank Gold American Express card. Yes. Megan, what's going on here? Um, they tried to point us in the wrong direction on the road, and... I just think that there's a right way to win and a wrong way to win. I don't know, you're just mad because you're in second. It's okay, We're not mad. mad we're in second. If you guys want to play the game that way, that's no, totally fine. They're angry, yeah. They're us, angry. But we feel good. We feel great. And I'm even more inspired to kick their butt. You know what? They may have won this leg, but we're coming for them next leg. It's easy once you get a routine. It's just catching up right now. We're not going home today. Go, baby. We're going to get through this. Dude, Anna Green gave up. Welcome to Prince Edward Island. Oh, <laughs> you're so cute. You're sure <laughs> way too cute. Nikki and Pete. Johnny. You guys are team number three. Pete, how you feeling, brother? I thought we were going to win it, and I thought we were going to beat the girls in Jinder and Suki. You guys only need to be team number three to make it to that final leg. That's Dude, right, yeah. yeah. Do not hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Do not hug her either. All right, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> She's cute. She's adorable. Hurry, baby, hurry. I'm trying. Let's go, baby. We're in a super tight race to finish before Audrey and Elaine. We can't come in last today. We've worked way too hard for this. I'm not going home. I don't know who's going home. I'm not going home today. Yeah. Go, baby. For exclusive videos, unseen moments, and to read my blog, head to ctv.ca slash The Amazing Race Canada. I'm not going home. I don't know who's going home. I'm not going home today. Since final touches in her muscles. Should he? Come on, Daphne. All right. Yeah, baby. Done. Come to do floor run. I'm a hot muscle mess. I'm covered in poop. I'm covered in muscles. I hate this. I'm done. Yes, can you check, please? There's some muscles in them socks that are coming. What? Out. In the socks, there's muscle. <gasps> faster, baby, faster. Can we get a check? 
You're good. Yeah! Thank you very much. Oh, they got it. Come on, Rob. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Judge? We have to read them. Oh. You're good. Go, 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 go. Go, go, babe. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Hopefully, if we can do this, we're still in. It's going to be a race to the mat for sure. The only thing we can't do now is get lost. This can make it or kill us, babe. We have a shot. We have a shot. I'm looking for the farmer's bank. Oh, just keep going on Route 6. Thank you. Keep going up Route 6. Yeah. Thank you, boys. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Ryan and Rob. You guys are team number four. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Twice yes! free from a non-elimination leg. And here you are, standing in front of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. I knew we were gonna do it. <laughs> so did I. I love you. Alain and Audrey, you guys are the last team to arrive. Sorry to tell you this, but you have been eliminated from the race. I'm sad this experience is over. What's next for Alain and Audrey? I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna marry this beautiful girl. <laughs> we didn't win the grand prize, but we got our own grand prize. We're engaged now, we're going to start our life together, and that's absolutely wonderful. So glad I don't have to hide that ring anymore. <laughs> Next time on The Amazing Race Canada. New Brunswick. Yeah, buddy. It's the semifinals, and four teams race to New Brunswick, where they'll fight for a spot in the finale. Sarah! We're leaving first. But it's an uphill battle. Oh, Jim. Oh, God. As racers claw their way through a grueling roadblock. Let's go, Sue! Woo! Where did the instruction thing go? Teams face a blizzard of a time at an Acadian birthday party. Woo! Happy birthday, buddy! Dude, I feel like we could totally be employable. You need to understand. And you clip them on because I don't get it. But a complicated coastal detour leaves teams desperately waving. No! The white flag. I may have just given away half a million dollars.